Good Monday morning, Smarties. We're here at Winstar. We got a great tip today about your ID and why it's important to have with you. All right, so this actually recently happened to me. I've been to Vegas, I've been up here to Oklahoma, and I've been to Missouri, uh, actually around St. Louis at the Horseshoe Casino. And my ID expired the, earlier this month. So I never got a new ID. It still hasn't been mailed to me. Um, went to Vegas with that expired ID. Uh, most of the places, now MGM it wasn't a problem and Cosmo it wasn't a problem. I luckily have a global entry ID for when I got TSA pre-check. Oh. And Cosmo and MGM accept that no problem. It's in this ID book that they have and they can look through and match that. I was about to say, how did you get on the plane with an expired ID? TSA so doesn't care. Oh, that's nice. But but here's the other thing. <laughs> that's nice. My global ID is linked to my driver's okay. license that's expired. That's probably so how you got it. That's, yeah. it's, it's all good that way. Makes um, sense. So, however, at Caesars property, now Caesars in Vegas and in St. Louis, so I'm guessing this is a property-wide policy, they do not accept a global entry card even though it is a federally issued ID. I have to do more for that to get that than I do for a driver's license. I have to show my <laughs> passport. I have to fill out like I'm not a criminal, everything else, way more than you have to do for a driver's license, but they don't accept it. So on this next trip to Vegas, I'm going to make sure to bring my passport with me so I have an actual valid form ID. Or you could just get your license renewed like I, everybody else it's does. It's been renewed. I'm waiting for it to get mailed to me. I don't believe that. They it's, print it right on the spot now. No, they don't. They mail it to you. Yeah, they print it you temporary get a temporary card. Yeah. But it doesn't have your picture on it though, right? No. Okay. Yeah, so that doesn't work. So why is it important to have an ID on you? Well, obviously, you know, a lot of these places, a lot of the casinos outside of Vegas require you to show ID before you even get in the door. Right. Um, but not only that, what if you get a hand pay? That's the thing they mentioned, so, there's consequences. There's consequences. Now, if you do forget your ID, I mean, it happens, right? They will hold your hand pay for a little while for you to go and get your ID and bring it back. Right. Every casino is going to be different. Might be 30 days, might be less than that, but they're going to tell you, you have a certain number of days to claim your prize. So come back with your ID and we'll give you the hand pay. So don't freak out. If you forget your ID and you get that nice hand pay um, and they're not able to pay you because of that, don't freak out. You're just going to have to come back later with your ID once you get it. So. However, Caesars would not even give me a player's card. Well, that I understand. Without my, without a valid ID, they wouldn't even give me the player's card. So make sure you have a player's card with you. You know, when you forget your ID, and don't forget your player's card. You see card. how it just cascades <laughs> down. It's like yeah. it's all about your ID at it's the end of the day. It's all about your ID. <laughs> uh, casinos so. are places where you need to have an ID on you at Absolutely. all times. Uh, not only for the hand pays, but also to get in the door. Uh, also, may ask you for ID it's not only that, young. guys, but they're checking. The reason that they check at the door is, number one, are you of age? But number two, are you on a list right. where yeah. you have self-excluded? And because it's it's up to them to pretend, prevent you from coming in there to gamble. Like, it's on the casino. If you have self-excluded, yep. they got to make sure that you don't come in there to play. And so that's why a lot of those casinos check you right at the gate. So have your ID at all times. That way you don't have to run into any kind of issues things like that. That's so. very good advice. Gamble smart. Gamble safe. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. Absolutely. All right, bye.